Sensors help first responders monitor their vital signs and the environmental conditions they are in to help protect them and the lives of those they help. In this episode, we'll examine how technology is used by first responders. We'll reveal which of the next three statements is not true. Heart rate and blood pressure monitors are widely available in smartwatches and fitness trackers. However, vital sign sensors for first responders must be able to withstand much harsher conditions compared to their commercial counterparts. They can monitor more, such as body temperature and blood oxygen levels. In case of a building or structure collapse, body positioning sensors can indicate to supervisors if falling debris has knocked down or trapped a first responder. Monitoring air quality in harsh environments requires the use of environmental sensors, like those used in industrial and manufacturing settings. Vital sign monitors are crucial in letting first responders and their supervisors know when they may need medical attention. Lightweight and portable environmental monitors for ambient temperature Humidity and air quality enable first responders and their supervisors to better understand the conditions they are working in. Together, these technological solutions provide real-time data to enable supervisors to coordinate first responders to optimize safety and efficiency as the situation unfolds. At the start of this video, you saw three statements about the use of sensors to ensure the safety of first responders. One of them is not true. But which one? The first statement was false. Low blood oxygen levels can indicate dangerously elevated levels of carbon monoxide in the bloodstream because of smoke inhalation, so an oximeter-based warning system can save lives. To learn more about how sensor technologies can help protect first responders, visit our site. Then subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook, X, and LinkedIn accounts for the next episode of Two Facts and a Fiction from Mauser Electronics.